today is a wonderful and beautiful day and I'm really happy. I think I have done my work. I came in in a by-election and then I had to deal with a major hurricane. But I have been there for my people, so this is a victory day for the Dominican Labour Party. In this constituency, certainly, we will win by a large margin. <laughs> well, we keep hearing noise of, from the opposition as they want electoral reform. They want uh, to stop people from coming in from voting. How do you, how you respond to that? Do you think that um, the election will be free and fair? The election will certainly be free and fair, like it's always been in Dominica. We've never had any issues. Remember, every um, party contests the election as an inside agent. So you can object to anyone voting if you don't recognize a person. So it will certainly be free and fair. There were a few people who were making noise. They were in the minority, and that's under control. So as you can see, it's very calm in the Sufre constituency. I will say that we too also want electoral reform. So it's not a matter of not wanting. We have differences in maybe certain clauses, which we always ask the opposition to propose what amendments they would like. We try to reach out to, to them, to work with them, but they delayed the process intentionally, mm -hmm. just to have something to make noise about. Mm -hmm. But we've done everything necessary as a government to ensure that the electoral process could have gone through. The Prime Minister made a provision available to the Electoral Commission and all we needed was the legislation. And if you follow the news, you would have noticed that we tried to pass this legis legislation twice. And it's because of our concern to ensure that, that we are all on the same page. We did not want to use our overriding influence. We wanted to hear from the opposition their fundamental concerns and wanted to work together to ensure that when we pass the legislation that it was for all governments. Mm -hmm. Lastly, the whole thing about photo IDs for voting, um, it's, it's, it seems to be one of the major issues here. Now, what we, we certainly one of the political scientists in Barbados is saying that this is no different from what happens anywhere in the Caribbean because you can vote with your, with your passport and it has an ID. But, but how major an issue is this of photo ID? But how necessary is it? As I said, because we are small communities, it's not a major issue. If I walk into the police station, everybody knows I'm Dennis Chance. Mm -hmm. And that's all it is. Most of the inside agents are trained. Um, they grew up in the community. They know the people. So it's, it, it, it will be a, very, a slim possibility that somebody walks in to vote and you don't recognize the person. What about people coming back, um, flying in to vote? Most people coming back to vote have families here. They're connected here. They're from here. They're not strangers. They're just out of state for a period of time. And they do come back to Dominica mostly every year, every other year. Okay.